Alright guys, today we're going to be going ahead and going over the top 5 players at each single position. So going from quarterback all the way to kicker. With that in mind, we have common today coming in from Lord Leva Then, who said, I'm buying Mad 19 for long shot. <laughs> said no one ever. I appreciate your comment. Make sure you comment down below if you want to win common of the day. Guys, today's question is going to be, who are your top five? Pick a position on the screen right now and comment down below, what's your top five at that single position? Also, guys, we have a like goal for this video. Can we smash 75 likes? Hit the like button down below. Go ahead and help us smash that goal. Getting started right away, guys. Let's start off with quarterbacks. Now, keep in mind, this is not, you know, this is just for Madden 19. This is not for Ultimate Team. Sadly, I wish we could do Ultimate Team, but that is not the case. So, the top five quarterbacks for Madden 19 are going to be Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, Drew Brees, and Matt Ryan. Going ahead and going over to the running backs or halfbacks. I didn't they used to call them running backs and then they changed the halfbacks. Le'Veon Bell, David Johnson, Ezekiel Elliott, Todd Gurley, and Devontae Freeman will be your top five running backs for Man NFL 19. Next position we have here is going to be the fullback. Coming in at your top five fullbacks, we got Kyle Uchek. Patrick Ricard, who used to be a defensive lineman. He actually used to be a left end for us, and then we made him fullback. James Devlin, Anthony Sherman, and Zach Line. Our wide receivers are going to go ahead and be, I'm going to take a guess, Antonio Brown number one. Yup, A.B., Julio Jones, OBJ, DeAndre Hopkins, and A.J. Green will be your top five wide receivers in this year's game. Next one we have here is going to be the tight ends. Obviously led by Mr. Rob Gronkowski. Then Travis Kelsey, Jordan Reed, Delaney Walker, and Greg Olson. Your top five left tackles. Again, we all go in every single position. Is going to go ahead and be David Bacciari. Packers fans, how did I do? I think I got his name. David Bacciari. I think I got his name right. Tyron Smith. Trent Williams, Jason Peters, and Joe Staley. Top five left guards are going to be Andrew Norwell, Kleshi Osemele. The only reason I know how to say his name perfectly is he used to be a Raven. He used to be a left guard before he left us for the Raiders. Actually, no, wait. He used to be... What's this? I think he was a center. He was a center or left guard. Joe uh, Betonio, Josh Sitton, and Quentin Nelson... Obviously, Quentin Nelson being the new rookie. And yes, he is on the top five list as a rookie. This guy is getting a lot of praise. And I saw a lot of tweets about him. And how like the best rookie right now, top five rookies in the game, he's number one. Which is crazy. Travis Kelsey, Rodney Hudson, Jason Kelsey, um, Travis Frederick. Did I say Travis Kelsey? Travis Frederick, Rodney Hudson, Jason Kelsey, and Alex Mack. And uh, Brandon Linder are going to be your top five centers. Your top five right guards are going to go ahead and be Zach Martin, David DeCastro, Brandon Brooks, and Marshall Yonda, and Brandon Scharf. I've got a lot of these names I feel like I do pronounce wrong. If I do, tell me down below. Um, if I completely just butcher someone's name, like I call them a different name, that's just because for some reason I do that sometimes. I have no idea why. Lane Johnson, Damal Dotson, Ryan Ramchek, Marcus Gilbert, and Rick Wagner will be your top five right tackles. Again, another Raven. It's, it's so funny to see all these top five players that used to be Ravens. And now they're on different teams. And some of them are prospering, some not. Uh, top five left ends will be Khalil Mack, J.J. Watt, Cameron Jordan, Brandon Graham, and Kalias Campbell. Your top five D tackles will go ahead and be... Damian Harrison Sr., uh, Sue, I I forget I, I forget how you say his first name. I could probably say it, but I forget how you say it. Uh, Fletcher Cox, you know, Atkins, and Linval Joseph. Kind of funny, I actually mentioned before in another video that left tackle, oh, my D tackles, I kind of, someone said I hated on them. I wasn't hating on the D tackle position, but it's just, I don't know how many people really have a favorite D tackle. That, you know, like you have a favorite wide receiver, favorite halfback, favorite quarterback. Not many people really love the left ta oh, D tackle position so much that they have a favorite D tackle. You might, it's definitely possible, 
but there's not too, too many. So I wasn't trying to hate on the uh, position, but I definitely feel like that's not the most loved position, you know? Aaron Donald, uh, Everson Griffin, Mike Daniels, uh, Melvin Ingram the third, and Joel uh, Casey will be a top five right ends. Your top five left outside linebackers are going to go ahead and be uh, Von Miller, Justin Houston, Ryan Kerrigan, Clay Matthews, and Nigel Bradham. <clears throat> Your top five middle linebackers are going to go ahead and be Luke Keekley, Bobby Wagner, Deion Jones, Zach Brown, Ruben Foster, who actually had an issue with domestic violence, but he was proven innocent. So I do feel very, very bad for Ruben Foster. I still wish the Ravens drafted him, but Marlon Humphreys is also a really great player. Sean Lee, uh, Levante, oh, Levante David, Javion Clowney, Telvin Smith, and Vontez Perfect will be your top five right outside linebackers. I saw someone got mad that Sean Lee was a 96. I mean, Sean Lee, without him being in the lineup, wasn't the Cowboys like 0 5? Like, without him in the lineup, they do so much worse. He is little worst. Worst. Sorry, trying to fix that uh, speech impediment. Uh, but he, I mean, he is literally the king of that defense. Um, Jalen Ramsey comes in at number one for corners. AJ Aboye, Desmond Trufant, Patrick Peterson, Xavier Rhodes, and Casey Haywood. I honestly, the funny thing is, when I did my top five, who I thought were the top five cornerbacks in Madden, um, I saw someone comment down below yesterday and said, Whoa, Casey Haywood had the best season last year. What happened? I don't know. I, I honestly thought he was going to be like number two or three. Like, I thought Ramsey would be number one. Ramsey is a monster. And then I thought it was going to be Casey Haywood over Aboye because Aboye is great, but Casey Haywood is a monster too. Like, he is like almost equal with Jalen. So I'm really surprised that he did not get the top five. Um, what's what? He did not get number two or three because he is really, really good. Top five free safeties is Harrison Smith, Earl Thomas, Tyron Matthew, Devin McCourty, and Lamarcus Joyner. Where's Weddle? Oh, there's Weddle. Weddle. Yeah. He was not going to be a top five. Um, maybe back in the day when he was the Chargers, maybe. Eric Berry is the best strong safety. Then we have Malcolm Jenkins, Micah Hyde, Rashad Jones, and Adrian Amos. Followed by the late and great. Or, okay, sorry. Let me not say late and great. It sounds like he died. He didn't die. He retired. Cam Chancellor. Cam Chancellor did retire, sadly. That really sucks. I'm going to miss him. I love Cam Chancellor. I love Cam Chancellor. But I love Eric Berry. So it's cool to see that they're both on you know top of the strong safety list, and Cam Chancellor will be a man 19, but he won't be in for long because he did retire this off season. So he'll be on the roster, and you can play with him thankfully, but he is of course retired. I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss Cam Chancellor. He hit. He was the hardest hitter. I think right now in the game, because this is a huge issue on Twitter. Right now in the game, he is one of the hardest hitters easily. Johnny Hecker, Chris Jones, Marquette King, Sam Cook, and Dustin Colquick are going to go ahead and be your top five punters. Sam Cook. This man has like 30 or 40 different type of punts every single time he punts. That man's a god when it comes to punting. He's a god of punters. But my favorite punter has to be Marquette King. Uh, Justin Tucker, Matt Bryant, Robbie Gold, Adam Vinatieri, and Stefan Gro oh. Gochowski. Goch mm, I always knew how to say his name right. Ghost. I'll just call him Ghost. That's what I used to call him. Ghost. And that's going to be your top five at every single position. So, guys, make sure you comment down below and tell me which of these players do you disagree with. Which of these players you see and you're like, what the heck? That is crazy that the top five list is like that. I would love to hear it down below. And, again, remember to comment down below and tell me your top five list for every single position. Now, if you want to, you can even go crazier and do top five of all time or to just top five of, you know, currently playing. In all honesty, I don't have too much of an issue with this, like, the ratings for this year. Um, when I did play the beta, the ratings were too, way different. Okay, I say that with emphasis, but I know it sounded weird. They were way different. They were completely different. And it was kind of just stupid because you had players that, oh, like, 80 overalls here that were 50s. So, I'm kind of interested to see, you know, how, what ends up happening. But just keep in mind, if the rating system, I saw someone got mad because Todd Gurley was rated under David Johnson. 
I think in a way what EA tries to do is like players like David Johnson who got hurt last year. They try their best to make it more even and fair for players like that. So because I mean technically speaking you could just say Todd Gurley is the best halfback. And David Johnson you know did nothing last year so he should be a 78 of all you know. So I think they try to make it balanced to see what he did the year before. And kind of try to transition that over to this year. With that in mind tell me down below your thoughts and opinions and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.